A Brave New World, or the Next Step Towards the Erosion of All Privacy, DOI genetic tests claim to be able to identify your risk of serious illness, but there are serious concerns of both the accuracy and security. Amid all this uncertainty, it's natural for individuals to cling on to any shred of stability and try to determine what the future has in store. So it's no surprise that home genetic testing kits have become popular in recent years. These kits use small amounts of DNA, usually taken from a saliva sample or mouth swab, to inform an individual about their ancestral origins and the future risk of developing certain illnesses such as Alzheimer's disease, type 2 diabetes, Parkinson's disease, or a variety of cancers based on the presence of various gene mutations. These tests are becoming more advanced and are now sold online by a growing number of companies who claim they not, not only detect the presence of faulty genes, but also provide information on which foods to avoid, which nutrients your body needs, and how to have an effective workout based on your genetic profile. The existence, let alone the inner workings, of the human genome long remained a mystery. The human genome consists of roughly 30,000 genes spread across 23 pairs of chromosomes containing, containing the blueprints for our construction. Each person's genetic code is unique, accounting for the myriad physical characteristics seen across the human species. Gene mutations can be inherited from a parent or are acquired spontaneously during the frequently occurring process of cell division. Mutation-inducing agents, such as radiation, certain chemicals, or naturally occurring toxins, also cause alterations to the genetic code, which may ultimately lead to cancer. Each person's DNA is estimated to contain around 400 flaws, though these mutations rarely cause us any problems. Some of these, deemed silent mutations, do not bring about any noticeable changes, whereas others give rise to relatively common physical characteristics, such as red hair and blue eyes, which are considered part of natural human variation. However, some gene mutations can result in individuals being born with serious lifelong conditions that diminish their quality of life and or lead to an early death. Examples of the estimated 10,000 diseases caused by a mutation within a single gene include cystic fibrosis, Huntington's disease, and haemophilia. Doctors' concerns. Last year, UK doctors expressed concerns about the accuracy of the results provided by consumer DNA testing kits and called for greater regulation after it emerged that some women were wrongly informed that they carried mutated copies of the BRCA gene, which increases the risk of developing breast and ovarian cancer. In one case, a woman narrowly avoided having unnecessary breast surgery after National Health Service labs fortunately reran the test and determined that she did not have the faulty gene. Conversely, it emerged that one type of genetic testing kit failed to detect the presence of a rare BRCA mutation in the majority of cases, thus providing false negative results and misleadingly reassuring consumers. GP practices and NHS genetic clinics are also reportedly finding themselves picking up the pieces of these home test kit results when faced with anxious and confused patients. Professor Annika Lukasen, president of the British Society for Genetic Medicine and a consultant in clinical genetics, has commented that genetic tests, genetic tests sold online and in shops should absolutely not be used to inform health decisions without further scrutiny. Earlier this year, Superdrug, the UK's second largest health and beauty chain, began selling the Circle DNA home testing kit, which is claimed to be the world's most accurate. Avi Lasarov, the international CEO of Circle DNA's parent company, commented, For the first time, high street shoppers now have access to their DNA information, which in turn can empower them to personalise, tailor and curate their lifestyle to best suit their genetics. This huge increase in knowledge can only be seen as a good thing when it comes to the health of the UK. The premium version of the test kit costs £499, roughly $613, and is said to provide information on over 500 genetic markers, including one's risk of illness, food intolerances, responses to medication, personality, and behavioural traits. False promises. Satisfying people's curiosity may seem like a bit of harmless fun, if only the accuracy of these genetic test kits could be assured. However, it is important to point out that one's genetic makeup does not determine their future. There are thousands of genes in the human body that code for a myriad of physical and behavioural traits, as well as disease risks. Some genetic variation may increase the risk of developing illnesses, such as certain cancers, diabetes, depression or Alzheimer's disease, but are not the only factors determining whether you will develop these conditions. Environmental factors and lifestyle choices such as smoking status, diet, living environment and exposure to stress also play a major role. With the exception of a small number of typically rare disorders, where a single gene mutation is solely responsible, most illnesses are multifactorial in nature, caused by a combination of genes and environmental factors, each one of which might either increase or decrease the overall risk of disease development. Of course, healthy genes are a good thing, but by no means ensure health in later life. 
From time to time, we hear about companies being hacked and losing their customers' credit card details, or we learn about contractors losing individuals' medical records and other identifiable data. Similarly, there's no reason to doubt that genetic data can't be stolen or shared with third parties. There have been reports of thousands of DNA testing companies leaving their clients' results on public servers for all to see. Hackers have also attempted to access this information. Another DNA home testing company secretly gave the FBI access to its database of customers' genetic records to assist the Bureau with unsolved crimes. It is not too much of a stretch to imagine that thousands of people's genetic records being sold onto scammers or being used to extort individuals for ransom. Insurance companies and banks would also be keen to get their hands on this data to try and determine a customer's chances of repaying a loan later in life or developing serious medical condition in later life. And of course, this also paves the way for a future where children have DNA tests in early life and receive genetic report cards detailing their future risk of illnesses, in turn affecting their future employment opportunities, insurance premiums and loan eligibility.